Okay, figure shows a 0.5 kilogram block okay, attached to a spring scale suspended from the ceiling of a lorry. If the spring scale showed a reading of 5 Newton, now what is the acceleration of the lorry? Good. We have to draw P body diagram first. Yeah? Draw P body diagram. So the question asks for to find the acceleration of the lorry. So we know that as the lorry accelerate forward. The, that's the first thing we know. Yeah? Accelerate forward. Um, and then uh, this is the mass of the block. Uh, spring scale shows this 5 Newton. What is this force? What is the what is this force? Is this what force is this? Uh, never mind. We draw the free wire diagram first, then we can figure out what kind of force is 5 Newton. Alright? Uh, so we draw the force acting on the block. Yeah, acting on this block. You can actually draw like this. Yeah, just draw. So this is the block, we have the mass, we have the mass, so we have the weight. And this is the weight, yeah, W equal to mg, right? Oh sorry. W equal to mg. And also it has the tension in the in the spring. Uh, because it's pulling the, the, the spring is pulling at this tension. Uh, okay. And we also have the row the axis, uh, x and y axis, right? So uh, and C here is the angle theta here. You see the angle theta here? Uh, it's also the same as angle over here, theta, right? Ah, so it's the theta over here. Okay, let me draw it, magnify it. Yeah, let me ma magnify it. So let me magnify it at, at the side here. Okay. Ah, so, um, okay, the block, this is the block. Okay, at the block at the center. Uh, draw a point mass. First, draw a point mass at the center. This is the block. Okay, this is the block. Not the lorry, yeah, the block, ah. Huh? Uh, force on the block. Uh. Uh, draw the free body diagram of the block. Uh. Draw the free body diagram of the block. So, okay. So now, what are the forces acting on the block? So we have the weight. We have the weight of the block, which is mg. Uh, we have the uh, okay. We have the tension. Uh, we have the tension. Ah, uh, so you also say this spring scale so show a reading of five newton. So this five newton is actually the tension. This is the tension force. Ah, uh, so we already have the tension. The tension is five newton. Understand? And also we already have the mass. Mass is zero point five zero point five kilogram block. Ah, uh, you know. This block is this block is a uh, zero point five kilogram. This block is zero point five kilogram. So we the we can write that for the weight. The weight is zero point five multiply gravity. Uh, understand? Zero five. Okay. And then another thing is the uh, theta. We can draw the theta on the graph on the on the diagram. So you see theta is over here, that means alternate angle, alternate angle. So the angle is with the y-axis. Uh, the angle is with the y-axis. So the angle is over here. This is the theta. Understand? Yes. But we don't know the angle theta, isn't it? We don't know. But never mind, we can find out later. We need to draw the acceleration of the lorry. Uh, acceleration of the lorry uh, is to the left. Uh, so as the block also accelerate to the left and uh, the block so we need to draw acceleration uh, acceleration to the left uh, we can draw it over here uh, sorry uh, so acceleration how to draw uh? so sorry uh, how to uh, yeah like this lah so a little bit longer yeah accelerate to the left ah uh, understand uh, so like that, yeah. Okay. Uh, acceleration to the left. Uh, okay. And another thing, uh, you still remember about the concept? Remember the, about the concept, the forces. Sorry, the concept about the Newton's second uh, law. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, uh, Newton's second law. 
Ah, about this one, yeah. Ah, remember this one? Ah, sign convention about the Newton second law, total F to the ma. So if follow acceleration, the force is positive. If opposite acceleration, the force is negative. Ah, uh, follow this sign convention. Follow acceleration, the force is positive. Opposite acceleration, the force is negative. Go back to our questions. Go back to our questions. So we should put uh, okay. Uh, follow acceleration. Follow acceleration. The force should be positive. Opposite the acceleration, the force should be negative. Ah, that's our free boy diagram. Okay. Uh, then uh, now what we do is we can do x and y components. Uh, we can do x and y component. It has two components, x and y components. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So now let's do the x component. So x uh, component we have the acceleration. Uh, x component we have acceleration. So is uh, total F equal to M A. Uh, but Y component, Y component no acceleration. Y component no acceleration. So total force equal to zero. Uh, okay. Now we can build two equation. So in X component we have acceleration. Uh, okay. What are the forces in the X component? So this tension you need to resolve. This tension you need to resolve. Uh, okay, let me resolve it. Yeah. So uh, this can be resolved into two components. Uh, all right. So here we have um, T sine theta. Yeah, T sine theta because no angle, no angle use sine, but angle use cos. Uh, adjacent to the angle use cos. Adjacent to the angle use cos. Let me write write this um, letter. So here yeah, positive, here negative. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So in the x component we have t sine theta. Uh, t sine theta. And this t sine theta is same direction with acceleration. Ah, uh, same direction acceleration. So t sine theta same direction with acceleration. This T sine theta should be positive. Uh, it should be positive. Positive T sine theta. Okay. Uh, and then that's, that's, on, that's the only force in the S component. Uh, that's the only force in the S component. There's, there's no others. So equal to MA. Uh, and then what about the Y component? Y component we have um, T cos theta and also W. Uh, and then, but y component, uh, y component, uh, no acceleration. Y component, no acceleration. So we just take uh, going up positive, going down negative. That's all. Yeah, going up positive, going down negative. Just put going up positive, uh, and then going down is negative. Uh, equal to zero because it's like you want to take w minus t cos theta also can because whoever minus. Uh, who, uh, which partner minus, you still get zero. Yeah, you want to use T cos theta minus W, or you want to use W minus T cos theta, you still get zero. Isn't it? So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who positive, who negative. It doesn't matter who positive, who negative. You want to take going up positive, also can. You want to take going down positive, also can. Okay? Uh, because you just want the minus. Because only we just need minus. Because they are opposite direction. Uh, so minus, you get zero. Okay, so ah, uh, so that's it. That's the formula you generated already. Now we substitute the value. Tension is five newton because tension is the spring scale reading. Uh, spring scale reading is the tension. So we got that for five newton. Okay, so uh, I think. Okay, this one also. All right. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So all right. So let's continue our work. So we have our uh, tension is 5 Newton. Sine theta, but we don't know what is the angle theta. It's not given, right? There's no angle theta given. Never mind. So, uh, and then we have the mass. Mass is um, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Acceleration. We want to find acceleration. Okay. 
and then this one is um okay uh five newton tension cosine theta minus w w is mg mg so it's a uh, 0 0.5 times gravity uh, okay uh, from here we can find grab theta first i think can find theta okay uh, we can find theta from here so let's solve it yeah so 5 cosine theta equal to 0 0.5 times gravity is 9.81 so let's solve it yeah okay um Okay, remember what you get is cosine theta. Okay, and then you need to uh, anti cos it. Okay, and remember this one must be in degree. Yeah? Uh, this one you must use degree, not radian. Uh? Uh, not radian. Uh, not radian. So be careful. Be careful with the values. Not radian, must be degree. So change your calculator to degree. Okay. So I got my theta is uh, 11 point uh, one eight uh, seven one eight seven degree okay uh, I can use the angle theta already so I can put it over here by sign uh, 11 point one eight seven degree equal to 0 0.5 acceleration so what's my acceleration uh, sign okay let's do it Okay, I asked my acceleration is 1.94 meter per second square. Uh, is that an answer? Yes, that's the an answer. Uh, quite answer is 1.94, 1.94, 1.9. Boy. Okay, so that's very simple only. So remember to draw the free wire diagram correctly. So the spring scale reading is actually the tension. Uh, and then we have the weight of the block. So acceleration of the block, acceleration of the block, acceleration of the block, follow the acceleration of the lorry to the left. Okay, acceleration to the left. And then same direction with the acceleration, force is positive. Opposite the acceleration, the force is negative. So the T sine theta is positive because it is same direction with acceleration. And T sine theta is the only force in the X component. And then for the y component, we have t cos theta and w. And we solve it to find the theta. And then from the theta, we substitute here. We can get the acceleration. That's all for these questions. Bye.